Good evening. I'm Lana Hasnell. Welcome to BizWorld. The government is currently examining ways to increase income without imposing new taxes. Deputy Finance Minister Datuk Sri Ahmad Maslan said it can be done by reducing leakage in terms of smuggling and tax evasion activities. Uh, saya ambil contoh yang kecil lah. Misalnya uh, jika kita boleh mengurangkan ketirisan dari segi penyeludupan misalnya ya. Uh, ada yang menyebut bahawa pelarian cukai daripada rokok ini lebih kurang 5 bilion ringgit misalnya. Uh, jadi kalau kita mengetatkan segala apa perkara yang berhubung tentang pelarian cukai rokok dan penyeludupan rokok maka tanpa sebarang cukai baru kerajaan boleh mendapat tambahan 3 bilion, 4 bilion, 5 bilion. Currently, efforts to deal with leakages from smuggling activities and tax evasion are being implemented by related parties. In the meantime, the minister said there has not been any discussion or meeting held regarding the re-implementation of the Goods and Services Tax, GST, since the unity government was established. However, he emphasized that the implementation of GST is good, with 83% of countries in the world having used the taxation system. The manufacturing sector continued its double-digit growth to record 159 billion ringgit in sales last November. Chief Statistician Datuk Sri Muhammad Uzir Mahidin said the 11.8% growth was driven mainly by the electrical and electronic products. This particularly in the manufacture of computer, electronic and optical product industries. The growth was also attributed to the petroleum, chemical, rubber and plastic products underpinned by the manufacture of coke and refined petroleum products industries. Meanwhile, sales value in the transport equipment and other manufacturers picked up strongly, boosted by the manufacture of motor vehicles, trailers and semi-trailers industries. Bursa Malaysia Derivatives Berhad recorded an all-time high in yearly trading volume for all its products, as well as for crude palm oil futures, FCPO, last year. A total of 19 million contracts were traded, surpassing the previous record of 18.4 million contracts in 2021. For FCPO, 16 million contracts were traded last year, breaking the previous record of 15.6 million by 3.8%. The higher trading volume is largely contributed by foreign institutions, which accounted for 50% of the volume. Their participation has increased substantially by 27% from 2021. Over 1 billion bills worth more than 113 billion ringgit are paid annually in Malaysia. According to Mastercard, more Malaysians are using e-payment services to pay their bills due to the pandemic. $25 billion worth of bill payments are collected annually from Malaysia and only 50% of it is digitized. So here it is about the supporting the government and the BNM's initiative to make payments digital. And that's our key interest in launching bill payment in the market. She was speaking at the launch of the Mastercard Bill Pay together with ATX Fintech Holdings. Malaysia is the first Asia-Pacific country to roll out the new bill management tool that combines electronic bill presentment and payment in one place. Integrated poultry producer CAB Chakaran Corporation Burhat will invest up to 350 million ringgit to build some 60 poultry farms in Indonesia over the next five years. The venture, which involves its second largest shareholder, Indonesia's Salim Group, aims to supply 4 million birds per month. We're going to invest on there. We join with just with Salim. Uh, how many? We might be, might be both possibility. We still on on negotiation, on, on meeting, and also projections. 
Earlier was the launch of Farm's Best Omega-3 Chicken product, which marks the entry of CAB Chakaran into the premium downstream food segment. The new product offers a double-digit higher margin versus its controlled price broiler chicken. That's all the time we have for BizWorld. I'm Nana Hassanel. Thank you for investing your time with us and keep tuning in to TV Tiga.